Hey Scott, we have your 86420 SEL here on the hoist and I just wanted to point out to you what we found wrong. It looks as if though the center drag link right here had broken off because the um, something from an impact or a collision when you ran over it. Um, over here, the, this, this part of the center drag link attaches to this other piece that's broken and that's why you have no steering right now. So we're going to recommend changing the center drag link which is broken and we're also going to recommend changing these tie rods. Um, the left tie rod assembly right here is broken. The boot's broken. Um, we're going to recommend changing the uh, right side tie rod assem assembly. Um, both the inner and outer tie rod boots are broken. You can see this one's broken as well. And um, we're going to we're going to change both the right side tie rod assembly and also the left side tie rod assembly for the same reason. You can see the tie rod boot on this tie rod is broken as well. And this one also here on the inside is broken. This tie rod boot on the inside is broken. So these tie rod boots, when they break, what happens is whenever you turn the steering wheel, the steering will start to knock. A big knock will happen when you turn either left or right because the boots are, are, are gone and then the grease inside those tie rods come out and cause the steering, steering tie rods to, to knock when you turn. So um, since these boots are broken and since we're changing the center drag link, we're going to recommend changing all three. We did check the steering dampener and this dampener is fine. It has good resistance to it so we're not going to replace the steering dampener. It's fine. Um, we are going to recommend that you do change the right front upper control arm ball joint or control arm I should say. This control arm ball joint boot is also broken and this is going to start to squeak real soon if we don't replace this and uh, it's the right front upper control arm that has a ball joint on it and we're recommending that you do change this. We're not sure if the steering knuckle which is where this light is shining at right now, this is this is part of the steering knuckle right here where the brake caliper attaches itself to and the lower control arm attaches itself to. This is the, this is the actual steering knuckle right here and this steering knuckle could be bent but we're going to hold off doing that until we get the car aligned and once we get the alignment done we'll be able to tell if the right front steering knuckle is okay. It looks to be okay so we're going to hold off doing that. We're just going to change the steering drag link and we're going to change the tie rods and we're going to, and we're going to recommend that right upper control arm. Uh, and then that should ensure that you'll have good wheel alignment and you'll also ensure that the steering will stay straight for a long time. So we'll send you an estimate for all this work. Uh, I also want to point out that the lower oil, engine oil pan has been pushed up uh, as a result of going through a, a dip or going through a, a speed, speed dip or speed bump too quickly. So um, what happens is the oil pan gets pushed up. It was pushed up and pushed up against the lower oil pan sump and this oil pan sump or oil pump sump pumps oil up into the engine but what's happened is since the oil pans collapsed onto the oil pump and there's very little room in there right now about that much I would say of oil getting through there and we're going to recommend that you probably replace this oil pan it's, it's not really leaking but you know if you go through another big bump again you're probably just going to crush this thing completely it, it is crushed already but it's going to probably leak if it gets hit once more so we're also recommend that in the future or the very near future you change this lower oil pan and the oil pan gasket. Um, the car is also going to need lower exhaust muffler donuts. The muffler hanger donuts are missing. This is where the muffler, the rear resonator attaches itself to, to the, the chassis of the car and there's no donut here or hanger. It should have one there. This one is, you can see the hanger over here is, is on but it's cracking and it's going to break in a matter of time. And then the rear muffler donuts, they're really stretched out and they should be replaced. It's only a matter of time before these break and fall off and then you're going to have no exhaust hanging onto your car. The muffler donut on the left rear is missing so it's really only hanging by two muffler donuts and what will happen is you'll drive your car somewhere and one day you'll hear your exhaust dragging on the ground because these muffler donuts gave up. So this is a very urgent that we do this right now. I'll send you an estimate for that as well. Hey Scott, I wanted to point out one more thing to you. As you know, you asked us to go ahead and change this uh, right front turn signal lamp, which we are going to go ahead and get you a, a new one for. And then the right front mirror, I'm going to try and locate you a used one because this is really broken and it cannot be repaired. So we're going to recommend that we 
put either a used one or a new one on here and I'll get your price for that as well. But the thing I wanted to also point out to you is this uh, big scratch along the side of the car. Um, we could probably buff and polish that out for you. I, I can give you a price on that. I just wanted to point this out to you and see if you wanted me to buff and polish that out for you. Uh, about a good 90% of this should come off with no trace of it on the car. So, But there is a dent right here on this fender and uh, we could probably do something about having it pushed out for you. Um, let me know if you'd be interested in that, alright? I will email you an estimate and with prices along with everything that I've shown you on this video.